decided today I am going to do something that I love, absolutely love, 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 which is the Technic series. And this one is the Concrete Mixer Truck. This has been in and out of my shopping cart several times before I finally caved in and bought him. And I'm really looking forward to the build. So it's set number 421124. No, it isn't. It's 421122. Can't read apparently uh, retails in the UK for 89.99 and has 1163 pieces so that's about eight pence per piece but a lot of them are lovely fiddly little pins so that's what uh, the front of the box is like on the side the one-to-one -one is one of the tires so it gives you an idea of scale just a blank another picture of the uh, little guy and then the bottom is just your usual mumbo jumbo but on the back of the box it gives you a little bit more information about the truck so it's seven inch high and 16 inches long yeah no idea where this is going to go because i've had to juggle everything around so where i originally had on the industrial technique isn't there anymore that's where the uh, haunted house has gone so not sure where we'll go but i don't care i am looking forward to building this so much and i've brought me box ripping thumbnail so let us get a Ooh, got all this got all the pins there we go make sure i've got everything out so you've got the two sides of the actual bit on the back that mixes the cement Oh, two bucks. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, sorry. Infantile, I know. Bag of tyres. Get all the bits together. Oh dear, it's not in very many bags at all. So, I've got three bag threes. One, two... Three bag twos, two bag ones, and then bag four. Unless there's something gone wrong, there's just a load of little roundels. Ooh. And wheels seem to be bag two. So you can see the uh, hubs in there. Got a little Lego Land leaflet. My kids go free thing. Stickers. Never gonna moan about stickers again. I've done the Ferrari. If you've done the Ferrari, you've no right to moan about stickers. Unless you didn't put them on, in which case it looks bank. So this is booklet one. And it shows you uh, how to figure out you've got the right host length. One, two, three. And it shows you that box four bag four is just those. So, yeah, it does seem to have all its bags. <sighs> Could wear bag one gets you. Oh, bag one is so fun. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. I absolutely love Technic. If I could only buy one Lego theme for the rest of my building time. I would have a really hard time choosing between Harry Potter and Technic. But I have a sneaking suspicion Technic would win. Yeah, I, th I really do think Technic would win. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I think it's safe to say by the time we finish bag one, I'll be doing a little, uh, oh look, look how cool this is. Or alternatively, we'll be doing, oh my god, I hate this part. I hate this build. Oh, we've been there, we've had that. So bags one and two is but one. Bag three and four is book two. And the two contain, I don't know what they're called. I'll have to look that up. Uh, yeah. Oh. 
see what when i get to the second book that's where it starts getting less fun and less interesting because i'm a masochist it seems and i love doing all the horrible fiddly bits yeah, and then bag four is just put in loads. Oh, you've got a hundred of them. Do they just go in here? Are they your cement? I do believe they are your cement. So bag four doesn't even really count. And then a bit of advertising. Ah, uh, the Osprey, which of course got withdrawn. <coughs> The Ducati Bengali. Haven't got that. Don't know about it. That's the Fast and the Furious Dom's Charger. Not interested in that in any way, shape or form. And then some little bits and pieces about the operation of it. Yeah, not convinced mine will work, but never mind. And then you've got your part list in the back no brick separator because it's technic and you don't tend to get them so yeah looking forward to this i reckon as a guesstimate 1196 pieces if this was a system brick build i would say Sorry, 1163. If this was a system bit build, I'd say three hours. Because it's Technic, anywhere between four and six. And that's just going off the mobile crane and the crawler crane. Because one took me four. And the mobile crane took me six hours and a meltdown. So anywhere between four and six hours. And I am looking forward to this so much. So I am going to away get my faithful little dots tubs out and have a little sort and we'll start building so just as an aside i'm going to show how i sort the horrendousness that is a technique kit before i start building and the easiest way is to use dots tubs yay all day. Just grab that. Just a tub just to chuck everything in as a starting point. And then separate all your pins. Doesn't take as long as actually properly nulling a set, which I have done in the past. And in fact, that's how I used to build all the time was to properly null everything out. Nulling, if you're unfamiliar with the term, is where you literally get everything and organise into all the component pieces. So all like the like. So all your two before bricks, etc. together. And it makes the build take a lot longer, but it's a lot more fun. Or it is if you're weird like me. Oops. But the beauty of these dots tubs, as you can see, lots of little compartments for, uh, in fact, a mixed pair can go in there. Lots of little compartments to put all your small bits and bobs in. And it just makes it that little bit easier when you come to build. Just finding stuff, especially with the little Technic pins, can be a right mess. Obviously, you may not have dots tubs. Dots may not be something that interests you, so you've never bought any. Any little plastic tubs. I did buy a load of um, just little tiny food tubs 
the only really itty bitty ones. I did buy a load of them at the local supermarket. And they're just as good. They're pre-sorted. In fact, that's what this will be. Boot up. And I do not care. Get out. Trust me, this will pay off when it comes to actually building. And I will do this at every single stage, not just for bag one. I'm just glad I've got two of these. In fact, I would like some more dot sets just so I've got more of these tubs. See, they can all share one. On those connected pieces. And then all my little rods can share one. It's not only are they different colours, but you can line them up against the book to check if you've got the right size. Just one more in there. <coughs> then I've no right where these little ones to go. So these. Orangey bit that can go on here. So I've just got one that's a mixture of bits and bobs. There we go. Oh, and another bag of uh, you know what. That's annoying. I not want to be able to sort it down as much as I would like. Oh, I might be able to, yeah. Because them cogs can go in there. you see why I said I wanted more of the dots tubs because now I've got a tub of random littles let's see if we can merge these in with anything else so that little connector bits so they can go in that one Some little rods so they can go in there Yeah, I can see an Amazon visit in my future just to get some more dot sets. Just so it makes the whole organising that bit easier. No, that's not too bad. So, bags one, I've ended up with yellow tub full of bits, blue tub for low bits and then I've got a tub of randoms so that took me what 10 minutes ish to sort that will pay off in the build that really will pay off in the build so I'm going to go and uh, make a start on this beauty well, there we got an hour and a quarter in and we've got the base of the cement mixer built a little bit of functionality going it's only a four stroke engine but it does work okay leave it like that because that's how it shows it on the instructions you've got a small mechanism here for the wheels the front set of wheels the turning and then on the back set you've got a far more complicated mechanism which rotates in that direction and then these actually spin and that turns the whole thing 
down back down to your pistons there we go really enjoying this that's not a great deal of time spent building at all to get to that point so i think this could end up falling under a four hour build but we'll see <coughs> does mean i can start something else today though yay yay for knowing i'm not working tomorrow so right so that's up to step 83 and bags one wait another 90 minutes in yeah another hour and a half so that's two and three quarter hours total and this is where we're up to with it and if i drive in towards you can see the pistons move tires seem to want to turn at will at the front there's no actual there is a gearing mechanism here i'm not quite sure what it does yeah it really seem to change much um some of the good bits about it are actually on this back end so you build this really odd looking ball gate with these wheels i'm presuming that's somehow related to the actual mixer drum yes i have been and looked it up it's called a mixer drum or as my aged glaswegian husband decided to tell me no Paddy's tumble dryer <clears throat> which made me laugh uh, well I did notice that I wasn't see this is how little attention I pay to pack art I wasn't aware that it actually had the I'm going to call it the hopper it's actually a funnel and then you've got this bit so you can pour the cement out of the back which I think is a really cool addition um, some of the bits and pieces look really strange as you're building them and the mount for this is one of them because you're actually putting pieces on at an angle and I've never had to put pieces on at an angle before um, the same you've got the I think they're 11s the bars on this bit the black bars and as you can see they're actually mounted at an angle rather than flat so that was a bit odd for me also I was morning earlier broken a nail I didn't realise at the time it's my sticker nail so getting the stickers off the sheets is proving difficult talking of stickers we have a number plate on the uh, back of the vehicle and what does said number plate say Charlie Mike 42112 really made me laugh yeah I mean I know these are little details I'd normally do in the wrap up video you know in the actual review bit of it but because it's technique and I am having so much fun and I want to stop and look at it at the end of every set of bags that I'm just basically going to do my review as a rolling review. So you're probably going to miss bits because you're going to skip through. But yeah, well, it makes me happy. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, I'm not. I know that the drum's going to sit on them in some way, but I don't. I don't get it. I really don't get it. So yeah, that's where we're at at the end of bags one and two, a total of two and three quarter hours. So it's easy going to come in under four. It's one of the, I won't say easy because Technic are never easy, but it is one of the most straightforward Technic I've done. But then again, I was really in Technic mode. I really wanted to do a Technic anyway we'll come back to that i shall go away get bags three out and then we will be back because when they're done he's finished and that will be a sad moment he's all done he's all finished quite surprised actually uh bag three an hour and a quarter so that's a total of just four hours well you can't actually see it there turn him there so here You've got a steering mechanism for the front wheels and see now he runs straight because that's engaged the doors actually open which I think is a nice feature they don't normally so I'm pleased with those and if we turn him round see we've got a water tank oops a water tank at the back here of course it's a cement truck um 
I've attached it all together now. You probably can't see, but inside it's all, I want to say ribbed, but I'm having a moment because I am old and re repulsive. However, we have, you look at this side, a little handle and that it spins in place really. This side, you've put gears in, push it that way, it turns and it just spins the concrete mixer in place so it's churning the concrete. Back to the neutral position, it has a big end for neutral and it just flips around. I have to take my word for it, you can't see both sides at the same time. If you move it this way. No, why has it stopped doing it? I, I just assumed that moving it this way would do something. So either I've messed something up I am starting to wonder if I have messed something up somewhere. No, that works those. That makes that spin. Oh yeah, because there is no lift mechanism. I thought this bit might have moved to create a lift and pour mechanism. But when you, I look more closely, there isn't. I'm just wasting time there, never mind. So, what we now need to do is get bag four. It reckons there's a hundred, it doesn't look like a hundred. So I'll tip them all in. Ratchet them all down. That makes a heck of a racket, doesn't it? And turn it the other way. There you go. Put them back in there back down because of the way it, it I was wondering because of course I had to re read up to find out that this is just called a mixer drum because it was bugging me as to what it was called and apparently how they work is they're ribbed inside and if you turn it one way it will just constantly churn and churn and churn and churn and mix but if you then rotate it the other way, it will allow you to pour the goodies out. There you go. So it's kind of neat that this is engineered the same way. So they get extra bonus points for that. Extra bonus points for that. Tip them, tip them all down. Can I just interject? You may interject. What if I screwed up? I think the gearing. When you put it to one side, mm -hmm. that side, yeah. That side allows the drum to circle. Because yeah. you can move it manually. Yeah. I've got a... Right, and when you move it to the neutral... Nothing happens. Move it to the next position. Yeah. Right, now take the model and put it somewhere and drive it forward with it in that position. Oh! There you go. <laughs> oh, super fucking cool! Mixing on the go. Thank you! No problem. <laughs> awesome! Thank you! Stop! 
stop laughing at me. I know I'm incredibly childish. And look, if you don't engage that, look, proof doesn't change. So, for 90 quid, not only does it look really cool and was an incredibly enjoyable build, but it has so many play features. Is it back like one? Hang on, what back part? The Tora. What, you mean? Yeah. Of course that works. Right, you that, bit, that bit I can manage. Oh, I'm well chuffed with him. <laughs> right, anyway, so that's the Lego Technic Concrete Mixer Truck, set number 42. One, one, two. Emblazoned on the front of it for all eternity. Or until your sticker falls off. Um, retails in the UK for £89.99 and has 1,163 pieces. In total, that was a four hour build. And I will give it six out of five. A really, really enjoyable build. Even this bit, the bit I tend to dislike immensely on the Technic builds wasn't that bad and a lot of it is very similar to the chassis building so it's not just putting big chunks together so yeah I, re I even enjoyed the cab build on that and everything works first time yes so thank you very much for watching have a great day and I'll see you again very very soon bye bye